Hey guys, Ryan here. Thank you for joining me for a new video. Today, I want to do an upload automation tool. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it is about to thunderstorm here. I'm actually trying to get a couple YouTube videos recorded because I'm pretty sure we're going to lose power. But back to the point, I want to do a tutorial for print on demand upload automation. Specifically, I want to highlight a tool that I'm loving lately. It's called POD Turbo. By the way, guys, I don't just like promote tools on this channel that I don't use. I only share with you stuff that I use and I always try to highlight the practical application as in like why you should care about this tool. Now, a week or two ago, I did a video that it basically compared four different print on demand upload automation tools. They each had their own strengths. They each had a reason why you should consider using them. The big one for POD Turbo is that they can automate uploads to Amazon Seller Central. Yes, you heard that correctly because you can't just flood Seller Central with new products. You'll get throttled. But this one, you can schedule your uploads and it will space it out and do it for you. Also, another thing that's unique about POD Turbo is that it doesn't run locally on your machine. You upload all your stuff and they run it from a web server and it integrates directly with uh, Seller Central, I believe. Actually, let me think, does it? I have to go recheck that and make sure. I'll let you know, but I'm gonna go jump on my computer and we can get started. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Real quick, before we dive into things, let me introduce myself for the new viewers. I'm Ryan Hogue. I've sold over $1.7 million on Amazon to date. And if you're interested in my weekly giveaway, check the link in the description. I'm giving away $1,500 in print on demand tools free to enter. Also, I've got a free print on demand mini course delivered via email over eight days if you'd like to sign up for that. Also, I have a print on demand Facebook community. I would love to have you there. Lots of active discussion. If you'd like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, I publish income reports on the first or second day of each month. If you can, if you would like to follow my progress as a print on demand seller, FBA seller, YouTuber, etc., I put as much out there as I can. Last but not least, I wrote a full print on demand course showing you how I maximize the value of all of my designs. And if you'd like to check that out, it's got 10 modules, 70 lectures. There's a link in the description. Cool. Let's jump into POD Turbo. So this is a print on demand upload automation tool. I do not know who made it, but right now it only supports Gearbubble as the production partner, which makes me wonder if Gearbubble made it or not. Either way, if you guys are familiar with my channel, my content, you know that I have lifetime integrations to Gearbubble. Uh, I negotiated it years ago. <laughs> like I paid $2,000. This is the thing. Before I had any print on demand sales, I negotiated for $2,000. I want lifetime integrations and they obliged. So, and that's the thing though. So I started out $2,000 in the hole, but I was so sure I'd make it work because that's the type of person I am. If I'm going to commit like that amount of money, then I'm going to follow through period. So sometimes you have to spend some money to hold yourself accountable. It's weird. It's like a little mind trick, but anyways, just giving you the backstory there. So POD turbo, if you'd like to uh, check it out, I've got a link in the description. So some notes, it uses gear bubble. There's nothing to download or install if you want to use it. It actually runs on their web server and you use your web browser to set it up. Uploads are queued and scheduled, not just click run and then it starts going, but you say, hey, I want you to run at, you know, today. You don't actually tell it when to run, but you tell it to run that day and you tell it how many to upload, etc. So you upload a CSV spreadsheet and your images. I'm going to show you how, by the way. They have mockups generated on their end, on the server side, which is really cool. So, I mean, that's pretty standard actually, but it's just cool that we upload our, again, we upload a CSV and we upload our designs. We don't actually have to upload the finished mockups. They'll create those for us. And they have product templates available by category. So each category of products has a, um, when I say template, I mean, it's, it's basically a keyword template for your, you know, SEO optimization. If you want to do product descriptions a certain way. Um, etc. You know, you can configure all of that within POD Turbo. And then when it starts running, and again, it, it runs at like 11 p.m. at night. So it runs while we're sleeping. Uh, it'll just key off of that template that you set up. Pricing. I'm sure a lot of you guys, uh, this is a big factor in whether or not you choose to use uh, upload automation such as POD Turbo. And monthly, it is $97 a month. Annually, it's 600 a year. So obviously, if you're going to do this, go for the year. And Honestly, I mean, if you use it, this is going to pay for itself. I hate being the guy that says that because it sounds like I'm trying to sell you on using the tool. I'm just being honest. If you actually use this, it will pay for itself. But the caveat there is you have to follow through. Um, this is on the pricier end of the spectrum. Like there's other alternative tools that are cheaper, but none of them do 
the uh, scheduled uploads to like Amazon Seller Central, which to me is the big money maker. Keep in mind that's FBM print on demand products that you can be selling through Seller Central, which not that many people are doing. A lot of people do do it, but not as many as you think. That's a big thing that I cover in my print on de- print on demand course, by the way. All right, they also have a 30 day money back guarantee if you're interested in checking it out. And real quick, I'm just scanning through some of the stuff they put on their website about their tool. So you can create and upload products automatically 24 seven. Um, you can have up to 250 products on a spreadsheet when you upload and that would key uh, 250 products that night. It'll automatically create the uh, mockups. As you can see here, they've got white coffee mugs as the uh, products that they're selling. By the way, Gearbubble, what they really excel at in my mind anyways is two or three things. It's really coffee mugs they, they excel at. Their white coffee mugs specifically are the cheapest I've seen across the industry. Uh, at $4.95 base cost, you can sell the 11 ounce white mugs. And shot glasses, they do really well. And jewelry, they do really well. Schedule times to publish your products. Limit the number of products to publish on each marketplace. So if for some reason you want to say, publish 100 to Amazon, 50 to Etsy, 20 to eBay, you can do that. All right, here's how you configure it. Also, did I mention you do have to, uh, when you connect your marketplace, I'd mentioned uh, when I was coming out of the intro, I was like, do you have to connect it to Seller Central? Yes, you do. You have to configure them as a third party uh, user of your, it's not a third party user, it's one of those, the you know, MWS authorizations so that they can basically API into your account and do things like create new product listings. So the first thing you have to do is connect your markets. If you're doing Amazon, you would want to do that even though it's not pictured, it is supported. Uh, then set your daily limits. So for Amazon, um, my first run ever, I did, I don't know, I didn't do that many products. I did less than 100, maybe 50 or maybe less than 50. Either way, it, it supports up to 200 per day, I believe, for Amazon. So that's what you'll want to scale up to if you have the designs. By the way, if you run out of design ideas, I do have a tool that can help you automate the design process called Automate POD. You can check it out, link in the description. Because if you're thinking, Ryan, how do I upload 200 products a day? Or how, how do I let this do 200 products a day for us? AutomatePOD.com's got the solution. Uh, I built that with a friend. Anyways, number step three, edit your templates. This is actually optional. They provide default content for your templates. So if you choose to use it, um, well, You can't really choose not to use it basically you can just click next and use the default content and it works but they've also got like a set of placeholders uh, that you can insert to make it a little bit more dynamic as well step four you need to i guess i didn't label this correctly it still says edit templates at the top of my slide that's not what i meant for this to say i meant for it to say enter your gear bubble api key so you can grab that straight from your gear bubble uh, profile it takes one minute to grab that and copy paste it into here Because Gearbubble needs to um, generate these mockups, and I guess they need to ensure that you actually pay for Gearbubble. By the way, if you have a free Gearbubble account, it will not work, so you have to be on the paid subscription. All right, now let's upload. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to do this. So you're going to need your designs ready to go. Um, Here, again, I'm using this world's okayest job that I generated using Automate POD, if you're wondering. So here are the guidelines for your images. Now, I just showed you I've got a folder full of these images, but... Here's the thing, real quick caveat. These were rendered at 4,500 by 5,400 pixels, which are the standard Amazon merch dimensions that I mentioned I always design at. Now, here's the thing. Here's the reason why I shared that. So guidelines, zip file allowed only. So you get your images, you add them to a zip file, and then you end up uploading them. Uh, They must be PNG files only. All right, perfect. We did that. Design file image max size five megabytes. Now you might have problems there depending on how complicated your designs are, how complex. Uh, And then, okay, so if you're doing wine glasses, there's specific dimensions, pillowcase specific dimensions, etc. Here's the reason why I shared that I designed at 4,500 by 5,400. They're coffee mugs, which I'm a big fan of selling coffee mugs because t-shirt designs translate really well and really easily into coffee mugs. Um, Shot glasses too, actually, but You need to resize your images if you are doing, if you're following my advice of 4,500 by 5,400 pixel dimensions, you need to resize them for coffee mugs. Now I'm going to give you an easy way of doing this because of course, that's why you guys subscribe to my channel. You don't want me to just tell you, hey, figure it out or hey, you're going to have to figure out a way of doing it. No, I'm going to show you how to do it the easiest way. Bulkresizephotos.com. It is free. All you have to do is go into that folder I showed you with all your images, drag, drop, follow along here. 
it'll take you to the next screen. From this screen, click exact dimensions, type in 3600 by 4200, which will work for coffee mugs. And again, this is for coffee mugs. If you're doing a different product type, you can always switch the dimensions to the required, but for mugs, this is what we need. And then don't click render yet. One more step, go down to expert mode and change your image format to PNG because the default is JPEG. So with that, click start resizing and you should be good to go. Then you just download the uh, rendered ones and send that to a zip file and get it uploaded. If it sounds complicated, I promise it's not. <laughs> you just gotta do it once and then you'll, you'll see. All right, here's the next step. And I'm sorry for those of you guys that are scared of Microsoft Excel. I used to be like you. What's funny is I made it through my undergraduate degree and my master's degree in college without really ever getting comfortable in Excel. And then naturally it's like when I saw some practice, I mean, I hate saying this, but when I saw like a real life practical application of being good at Excel, all of a sudden I wanted to learn it. Now, the reason I share that is because we need to make a CSV file with all the relevant information for our uploads. Now, notice I have two different Excel formats here. Well, one is an Excel format, the other is a CSV. Anyways, what I like to do is create an XLSX file so that we can use functions to do things like easily generate the product names, the niche keywords, the keywords. Basically, these are all the columns that are required. And then when you upload your CSV, this column right here on the very end, I'm actually using Excel formulas to key off of this column right here and uh, insert that relevant keyword into the rest of the um, templatized columns that are required by POD Turbo. So then when you save as a CSV, just chop this last column. And then when you're in a CSV, it will not save the um, Excel functions. But in knowing this approach, you can save yourself a ton of time. And if you're not comfortable in Excel, but this is something that interests you, just floating it out there, just saying this is something that I share with you in the bonus material of my print on demand course, just saying it is there. All right, now you're going to want to go to POD Turbo, go to your products tab on the left hand navigation and go to add bulk products CSV. All right, next thing, upload your CSV file. And then it's going to ask you to upload your image zip file. So go ahead, add all your images, like put all your images in a folder, then right click add to zip, or if you're on a Mac, I don't know how to do that, but I know it's possible. All right, and then when it's good to go, you should receive an email and it should say, hey, your product mockups are ready. Because again, when you upload those uh, image files, it's gonna have to generate the mockups on the server side. Without those, it's not gonna be able to run your uploads. And you're gonna wanna do this prior to 11 p.m. at night, because if it takes too long, it won't be ready for that 11 p.m. Um, I don't know what to call it, but for the 11 p.m. run or whatever, where it actually starts creating the products. All right, and then you'll be able to click there to publish. I've already clicked publish when I took the screenshot, so now it says click here to unpublish. So I guess I could have clicked that and unpublished only to republish for the screenshot. Either way, um, I was trying to do a live demo for this video. And yeah, as you can see, I've got all the mugs ready to go, 50 mugs. And then you can go to products in queue to monitor if your uploads are ready to go. If you do that, you should see this uh, status complete, complete, etc. As it's publishing new products to Amazon, you will see that under status. And when it's done running, you will get an email from POD Turbo saying you uploaded 50 products to these marketplaces yesterday. You can log into the system to see more details. And last but not least, you should be able to log into your Amazon Seller Central account, go to manage inventory and see all of the recently created coffee mugs. All right, and that's it for this tutorial, guys. Again, you can also use everything I just showed you for the other product types that are supported. I just did coffee mugs as an example, but really the only thing that changes is your image uh, rendering dimensions, and that's only if they require them to change. If you were to do like jewelry, for instance, it'll change. But anyways, guys, I hope this tutorial helped. If you are already on Amazon Seller Central and you're not taking advantage of selling FBM print-on-demand products, please do. Please check my monthly income reports. I'm making $1,000 plus every single month doing that. And I'm doing it pretty much with minimal effort. Again, automating the design process, automating the upload process. Uh, so, I mean, again, you can put in more effort. You can put in equal effort. Either way, it's free money. So go out there and get you some. And if you like this video, guys, please hit that like button. Let the YouTube algorithm know. And if you're not subscribed, please do me a favor. Hit that red button so you can be alerted the next time I drop a video. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon. Passive Income School is open. Enroll now at RyanSmethod.com. Thank you.